guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 today i'm going to show you how to achieve the easiest jumbo twist rubber band method so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching All right, guys, so you're going to need some shining jam. This is the conditioning gel extra hold. And you're going to need a rat tail comb, some hair clips, some rubber bands, as well as some braiding hair. So my braiding hair of choice, this is the Free Trace Clean Therapy Pre-Rinsed and Cleansed in Vinegar Wash Hair. It comes three in a pack. I love this hair because it is pre-stretched, guys. Oh my gosh, you just take it out of the pack and you are ready to go. We're going to be using our model today. And this is Baby Girl. This is a mannequin that I got from Amazon. You already know oh <laughs> you already know i think amazon needs to be sponsoring me at this point okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to be using your rat tail comb you're going to section a straight line from ear to ear you know just make sure it's really nice and straight and then you're going to take a little bit of the shining jam and make sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever when i tell you this technique right here is easy it is actually easier than the one i did on my last video so if you are having trouble doing the last one sis this one is for you and then you're going to take the remaining of the hair you know the rest of the hair you're just going to pull it up and use a scrunchie to secure it you know just to make sure everything is really nice and clean and then you're going to section a box i cannot really tell you how to measure the boxes apart from you know just eyeballing and then seeing that the boxes look really nice and clean especially on somebody else it is really easy to do And then you're going to take the remaining of the hair and put it away using that hair clip that I showed you guys in the first place. All right, so now that we are done, we're just going to um, take some more shine and jam. So we're applying some more shine and jam to the box. That way the scalp is really nice and juicy. That way the scalp is really nice and sleek. That way when you try to secure, you know, using your rubber band, it looks really nice and clean. You're just gonna section the hair into two, okay? guys so once i section the hair into two i'm just gonna take um the braiding hair which is the free trace braiding hair guys so i'm just gonna take it out of the pack and then i'm going to section it into two exactly the way i'm doing because i was trying to go for a medium kind of twist guys I'm going to make sure the hair is really nice and um uniform on both sides and i'm just gonna place it in between the natural hair so i'm just gonna pull the hair together the hair that i separated in the first place and then i'm going to use my rubber band to secure it just gonna secure it four or five times just enough that you know it is nice and secure but not way too tight that you're going to get a headache or you're trying to break your hair assist okay so i believe in each and every one of you guys i believe anybody can do this even if you are a beginner right now you can do this <laughs> And then once I'm done, you know, securing it, as you guys can see, it is not as snug on the bottom. You're just going to section the hair into two and give it a little tug. One strand goes with the top and then the other strand goes with the bottom strand of the braiding hair. You're going to take a little bit more shine and jam, apply it to the remaining of the natural hair. That way it is really easy to tuck the hair in. As you guys can see, we're using color 1B, which is the same color as the mannequin hair. So this is easier to tuck in. So what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna tuck the first strand on the bottom, tuck it in, and then just give it a little twist. And then you're going to place the other one down, the other strand down, and just twist that as well, guys. So this is what you're gonna do. You're going to twist and turn. So twist and loop them around. 
twist them and loop them around twist both strands and loop them around and if you guys are having trouble this is what i recommend so you're going to take your right hand twisting the hair using your thumb and your index finger and then you're going to place it between your ring finger and your middle finger okay and then i go on the other side grab that strand again and then twist them together again and this technique right here is going to work sis you're going to be able to twist your hair you're going to be able to twist your sister's hair you are going to be able to do this like a professional oh my gosh when i tell you all you gotta do is practice practice rewind pause the video and you know what why was you talking right there can you pause that video right there i'm just gonna pause the video for you okay so i'm just gonna pause this video real quick for you and make sure you're hitting that subscribe button sis make sure you're hitting that notification bell as well because you do not want to miss out on any uploads that i'm about to drop on you in 2022 you know this channel is juicy you do not want to miss out on anything because you want to be the first one to know when the style comes up you don't want to be seeing your sisters out in the streets looking all kinds of cute and you're like who, 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 who? <laughs> Where did you see this style? And they're like, you you did not turn on your notification button when Tupo told you to. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm trying to give you all these easy styles, all these easy techniques that you can do by yourself. You can do on your sisters. You can do on your daughter. You can do on your mama. I mean, you're about to make your sisters look cute out in the streets, okay? Once you twist it and then you let it go, it is not going to unravel if you're twisting both sides going into the same direction, sis, okay? same technique guys twist and turn twist and turn twist and turn until you get all the way to the bottom this is just like you doing hair on your sister on your mom on your cousin or whoever you want to do hair on okay sis and then you're going to take a little strand from the end right there and just tie a knot so what i recommend is tie twice guys that way it does not unravel So I'm going to show you guys again. So this technique right here, sis, it is easy. It is fast. You know, when I did it on myself, it was easy peasy lemon squeezy. But if you guys are having trouble doing hair by yourself, but you want to do it on your sister, on your daughter, on your mama, on your aunt, or anybody, you can try this one right here. And then you're going to take some shiny gem, apply it to the line just to make sure everything is really nice and clean. You know, everything looks legit. All right, so you're gonna take the remaining of the hair and secure it with the hair clip. And then you're going to take some more shine and gem, apply it to the scalp, just to make sure the scalp looks really nice and legit, looks really nice and clean. And then you're going to section the hair into two. So if you cannot section it with your fingers, you can use the same rat tail comb just to section the hair into two, exactly the way I'm doing. And then you're going to take the braiding hair, guys, and I'm just going to place it in between the natural hair. So I'm just going to pull the hair together, the hair that I separated in the first place, and then I'm going to use my rubber band to secure it. It's going to secure it four or five times, just enough that you know it is nice and secure, but not way too tight that you're going to get a headache or you're trying to break your hair, sis. As you guys can see, it is not as snug on the bottom. So I'm just going to section the hair into two and just give it a little tug. Exactly the way I'm doing. Very, very easy, guys. Very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. So I'm just going to take the shine and gem and apply it to both strands. And then the other strand goes with the bottom strand of the braiding hair. Okay, so as simple as A, B, C, guys. So once I do that, I'm just going to tuck the hair in the middle, okay? This is actually perfect because the hair is actually the same color, so I don't have to do too much tucking. But you still want to tuck it in that way when you're twisting. It does not give you a little pickable or it does not, you know, mess up your twist situation or whatever. You're just going to drop down the other piece and then twist the hair together. So you're going to be twisting the same exact way you twisted the first one, guys. As you guys can see, the bottom is really nice and tight already. Now the grip is nice on the bottom. And then I can just start twisting and turning. So I'm twisting using my index finger and my thumb on both 
both sides and then once i do that my my right hand is taking one of the strands and placing it between my ring finger and my middle finger that way i'm holding the hair using those two fingers okay so once i twist using my index finger and my thumb on my right side on my right hand i'm just going to place it between my ring finger and my middle finger just to hold it in place that way i can go and grab the other piece on my left side sis when i tell you this is easy just believe me try it be patient just practice i'm telling you you're about to get the twist situation going on this is actually for beginners people who have never done twist before anybody who's never braided before anybody who's never done twist before and if you have not watched any of the tutorials of the mannequin you can go check that out as well i'll put the links in the description as well while i was still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Today's shout out goes to V to the world. Hey sis, I hope you're doing great. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I really, really appreciate you. You are a real one today. Okay, sis. So we're applying some more shine and jump. That way when you try to secure, you know, using your rubber band, it looks really nice and clean. Apply enough that way, you know, it is really nice and sleek or whatever. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to separate the hair into two you know i'm going to make sure the hair is really nice and um uniform on both sides and i'm just gonna place it in between the natural hair so i'm just gonna pull the hair together the hair that i separated in the first place and then i'm going to use my rubber band to secure it and i'm just gonna secure it four or five times just enough that you know it is nice and secure but not way too tight that you're going to get a headache or you're trying to break your hair assist as you guys can see it is not as snug on the bottom so i'm just gonna section the hair into two and just give it a little tug exactly the way i'm doing very very easy guys very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this i'm gonna take the shine and gem and apply it to both strands so once i do that i'm just going to tuck the hair in the middle okay this is actually perfect because the hair is actually the same color so i don't have to do too much tucking gonna start with tacking in the bottom piece okay as you guys can see i'm just gonna twist it a little bit once i tack it in i'm going to drop the other strand down tack it in that way when you're twisting it does not give you a little pickable or it does not you know mess up your twist situation or whatever Now the grip is nice on the bottom and then I can just start twisting and turning. So I'm twisting using my index finger and my thumb. When I tell you this is an easy technique right here, you guys better believe me. Let me tell you something. Just give it a try. Be patient. Give it a try. You know, you can't say you have failed until you give it a shot. Okay. Some people were like, Tupo, I know you can do it on yourself, but it's really hard for us to really see how you can twist your own hair like that. Can you please show us on a mannequin how to do the twist, the same twist that you did in this video right here. We want to see that on a mannequin. We are visual learners. We want to see exactly how you're doing it, how you're twisting and how you're looping them around. So sis, here you go. you guys have learned a thing or two i hope you guys are finding this tutorial easy let me know in the comments below if you guys think this technique is easy and if you guys are going to be able to do this and once you do these techniques guys make sure you're tagging me on instagram follow me on instagram at tupo one i want to see how you guys turned out okay where you're gonna moisturize your scalp once you're done you know using your mousse just to make sure everything is nice and laid and then you're just gonna cut the uh, flyaways with the scissors or whatever and that's about it thank you guys so so much for watching my videos 
Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for taking your time to watch my videos, sharing my videos. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we are here today. Please subscribe to your girl. Let's get to 500K. Cause baby, at this point, it is up from here. Thank you so much. Make sure you're sharing this video with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt. Cause sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.